Code straight to this is a message for Mansour and Hashim that edited my video from two weeks ago saying that um, we spoke about Isaiah 52 verse 5 where it says now therefore what have we here says the Lord that my people are taken away for nothing make them well says the Lord and my name is blasphemed continually every day well thank you for the persecution Mansour and Hashim thank you for saying I'm Pinocchio and that I lied because I just want to tell you something. What you did was you cut the part of the video where you ran away. You cut that part out of the video and you ran away. And why did you run away? Because we all know, all the people at Speaker's Corner know, only one name is blasphemed continually every day around the world. And that name that is blasphemed continually every day around the world is the name of Jesus. So, what does logic say to you, Mansour? Hashim, all the Muslims that have watched that video, before I start preaching, what does the Word of God say? The Word of God says, Make them well, says the Lord, and my name is continually blasphemed every day. There you have the Word of God saying, My name is continually blasphemed every day. Where does that go? Where does that scripture go? You know where it goes? Hashim, Mansour, for your salvation when you're standing in front of Christ, I want to tell you where it goes. It goes to Isaiah 52 and Isaiah 53, which is the gospel. He was pierced for our transgressions. No one else was pierced but Jesus. Please, can I urge you, Muslims, please, I'm begging you, I'm imploring you. Read the scripture. Be honest with you, because you're going to stand in front of God one day. And why are you going to stand in front of God? because we've sinned. And why have we sinned? Because it says in Genesis 3, when we took the tree of the fruit of that, of, of that tree, we partook of sin. We're all guilty, not just Adam and Eve. The Muslims say it's Adam and Eve, but we're all guilty. So please, you can, you can edit me out of the video. You can, you can lie, you can, make it, you can make out as though I'm Pinocchio, that I'm the one that's lying. But we all know the only name blasphemed every day on this planet is the name of Jesus Christ and therefore Jesus is Yahweh now let me tell you what I'm challenging you with today when Christians come to speakers corner we preach the gospel we say the word of the Lord what is John 1 what does John 1 say brother what in the beginning was the word the word was with God with God why wasn't the word God the word was with God. Now, when we come to Christ, when we come to Speaker's Corner and we preach, we want to show you. We want to show you Christians. We want to show you Christians that don't understand the Trinity. We want to show you monotheists. We want to show you um, what are the people that believe in monotheism? What do they call themselves? They don't believe in the Trinity. Um, Unitarians. We want to show you Unitarians, you monotheists, you Muslims. We want to show you there's a pattern of Christ in the Old Testament. There's a pattern of Christ in the New Testament. The whole Bible that we believe in, this whole message to us from God is His Word revealed to us to show us the Messiah, to show us our Savior. So listen to this. Listen to this Muslims. Listen to this atheist. When Christians preach John 1, 1, we're not preaching that as a one-off hit. We're not showing you for one place in the Bible that says in the beginning the Word was with God. Listen to this. Brothers and sisters, I implore you, open your ears and listen to the Gospel. Because only by listening to the Gospel can you be saved. After these things, this is Genesis 15. After these things, the Word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless? And the heir of my house is Eliza of Damascus. Then Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, this one shall not be your heir. Listen to this. 
This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir. Then he bought him. Look at the Hebrew of the word bought. He didn't command him to go outside. The word of God bought him outside. And he said to him, look towards the heaven and the stars. Jump to verse 7. He said to him, I am the Lord. The word of the Lord said, I am the Lord who brought you out of the Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to inherit it. And he said, when, he, when I say he said, Abraham said, Lord God, how shall I know I will inherit it? There's the word of the Lord. Jump to 1 Samuel 4, 6. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. That means Samuel didn't give any false prophecies. That means Samuel knew God intimately. He heard his voice. What happened then? All of Israel from Dan to Bethsheba knew that Samuel had been established as a prophet of the Lord. Please, I beg you, I implore you, listen carefully to this. Then the Lord appeared again in Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord. What? Now you're going to tell me there's no pattern of Christ in the Old Testament? You're going to tell me there's no pattern of Christ in the New Testament? Daniel has just told you, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God. <laughs> Clearly, my brothers and sisters, you have all the proof you need that the Word of God is a being. The Word of God is the essence of God. He's the coalescence of God. He's the parts of God coming together. Jesus is God. Holy Spirit is God. Yahweh is God. Adonai is God. Elohim is God. Yeshua is God. Holy Spirit is God. It doesn't matter what word you use, whether it's Aramaic or English or German or it doesn't matter. Here's the message. Here's the message. Jesus is God. Only He can be the Savior. Only He, only He, only He can save you. And are you going to be that person that goes, for what He had not been told them, they shall see. And what they had not heard, they shall consider. Please consider Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He was led as a lamb to the slaughter. And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? What is the arm of the Lord? To who has it been revealed? Brothers, sisters, atheists, Muslims, Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons, Buddhists. We can sit here for five days and we can go through all these scriptures in the Old Testament. Here's Jesus. Here's the arm of the Lord. Here's the Word of God. Here's the angel of God. Here's the angel of His presence. Here's the New Testament tabs. All speaking about the Trinity. All speaking about Father, Son, Holy Spirit. This whole Bible, from the day that Adam and Eve sinned, this whole Bible points towards the seed of the woman. In Genesis, nowhere is the woman's seed important. The only place that the woman's seed is important, where is with Mary, the mother of God. Mary is not God. We don't pray to Mary. We don't worship Mary. We don't consider Mary. We pray to one God, one Savior, Moshiach, Jesus, Yeshua. We're here because we love you, brothers and sisters. Please look at the contradictions in um, the Book of Mormon. Look at the contradictions in the Quran. Look at the contradictions all around. You've watched a, a very carefully edited video of people here. K. Hatun. There's so many videos that have been edited taking out the meat of their conversation, putting parts in that you then say, you send around the world and then you say, we've caught them, they've fallen into the trap. But you know that you are lying. I've just seen someone holding up a phone to my brother Daniel here, holding up a phone saying, here's a teacher in Ghana. And Daniel looked at that picture on the phone and said, this is a comedy. This is a play. 
It's not church. It's not a man preaching and saying that. It's a play. So please stop lying. Look at the truth. The only truth we have is the Word of God. And God is Jesus. And Jesus is our Savior. And He's the only way that we will get to heaven. Please, I implore you. We love you. We're not here because we hate you. We don't want to fight. We don't want to shout. I completely hate standing here and shouting at each other. It doesn't get any of us anywhere. But we're here because we love you. We love Muslims. We love Mormons. We love Jehovah's Witnesses. God died for you so you can live forever because He loves you. He's always trying to make a way for you to get to Him. God is the way. Christianity used to be called the way. It wasn't called Christianity. It was called the way. Why? Because people died for their beliefs. The words that came out of their mouth, 11 of the 12 disciples died for saying that Jesus is God. Jesus is God. I implore you, please, bow down, worship Jesus, accept His name, repent. He's the only way that you will inherit God's kingdom. We love you. Go in peace. Amen.